These are 3D printed core filaments. Let's finally test the layer adhesion meat. Welcome to my tech farm. In this video I want to test the theory about core filaments that they have better layer adhesion compared to those regular carbon fiber reinforced materials. Core filaments are those uh, materials which have the high concentration fibers inside in the core and outside they have the skin from the base material. And since the printing is uh, laminar, only two base materials will touch each other and will have better layer adhesion. And this is a theory I want to check. Uh, here I have the silk filament from the bamboo lab, which has the weakest layer adhesion from all bamboo lab PLA filaments I tested. And this is a tough PLA, which has the best layer adhesion from all bamboo lab PLA filaments I tested. Don't search for these two materials, both are discontinued. With this I am simulating the carbon fiber core filament, where the tough PLA represents the skin with the stronger layer adhesion, and the silk is the carbon fiber core with the weaker layers. In theory, the final adhesion should be closer to the tough PLA. And of course I want to mention that this video and the whole channel is sponsored by Polymaker, who are supporting my research activity. The whole idea came when I saw on the printables that somebody is printing mostly dual color filaments, but the, the method is same, only I printed this core version. And I printed this during the review video of H2D, so that's why I have these uh, approximately 8 meter sample filaments and I printed all different combinations. Pure tough PLA, pure silk PLA combination when the tough is outside and of course where the silk is outside. So it will be a nice comparison. I hope it is printable, but according to others, the method works. Only have to increase a little bit of the flow rate, but let, let's see the model. This is the object in Autodesk Fusion. It's parametric and you can play with it. I will upload it also in the printables. For example, here you can change the length of the spiral. For example, you have a bigger bed or something like that. Here you can change the cross section, in case you want bigger, smaller, maybe you want to use the octagon, which will be maybe a better solution. This is the object in Bamboo Studio, and two important things I changed here. In quality, I reduced the elephant foot composition to 0.05 mm, and in the strength part, I enabled detect thin walls. And these discs I added here in the slicer. As you can see, core will be completely surrounded with skin material. On H2D, this printing was quite fast, and thanks to two nozzles, there is no contamination of the nozzle between two materials. Now let's do some math, and I know that now I'm losing many viewers, but I have to explain this. What I designed is a hexagon. This is the cross section area of real filament, and this is of my hexagon. This means theoretically I have to increase the flow by 21%. But I also measured the filament. Approximately 18.72 grams, the length is 7.8 meters, and from PLA density I calculated what should be its real weight. This means because of those gaps between the lines, in reality I have to increase the flow by 24%, or set multiplier to 1.24. This was too scary number, so I started with 20% so far, but you will see later those 24% are correct. This method can be used not only to check the theory of the core filaments, but filament manufacturers can use this method to test different core filaments. They don't have to put it in a mass production. Only correct method is to create uh, the diameter a little bit bigger than 1.75 mm, for example, you can see on this picture and then pull it through 1.75 mm heated nozzle and then they will have nice circle 1.75 mm diameter filament. In my case it was not necessary, I just need some basic testing with this. As always my videos are recorded in chronological order. This means when I'm recording this I'm not even sure if this method will work, but if you are watching this maybe I have at least partial success. Yes, I have the filament because it is printed during the review of H2D, but I didn't even try to print with these filaments. And I'm not even sure which printer I will use. Probably it will be Prusa Mark IV because I have a little bit more freedom compared to the Bambole printers. For example, I can change the flow rate during the printing if necessary, at least at the beginning during the experimenting. I want to have some reference objects too, not only for the layer adhesion, but also for the mass. The main testing in this video will be the layer adhesion, print settings on the nozzle 215 degrees Celsius, on the bed 60, 
and the multiplier I already mentioned instead of 24 I started with 20% which will not be enough. At this moment I'm not even sure that it will be loaded but let's give it a try. Oh, it's pulling it. Okay, it's, it's fine. And there it is, core on the other side. Let's purge more a little bit. Mm, unfortunately, first attempt I have to stop. We don't want to stick to this sheet. But purge material sticks, so maybe I can play with the extrusion. Adding some glue. Increasing the flow to 24% as originally calculated. Second attempt and looks like it works. The color is mostly bluish, not completely clean, but I will analyze it later. So far very promising. The color is a little bit different, but don't forget that skin is quite thin after the printing. <laughs> yes, maybe I need some kind of spool, but it's almost finished. Glue works. I'm very happy with this first attempt and not bad actually. Color is a little bit different, but I already mentioned the skin is quite thin. Let's see if I need to adjust the flow. This is the original. 1.699. Oh, 1.698, perfect. I'm printing some hook and looks like the glue is not really needed if the extrusion is correct. And it sticks nice now. Really nice printing and it will be finished in two minutes approximately. Now moving to the 3D printed tough PLA filament without any core inside. The start is good and no need for the glue if the extrusion is correct. This time of course even the color is correct. I'm not sure how important is it but I noticed that non-core filaments has better rolling. The hook. And our 3D printed silk filament without core. <laughs> Loaded successfully. Nice start. It still looks like silk filament. Silk hook. And the last combination silk outside and tough PLA inside. Mm -hmm. Filament loaded. Well, from this angle it really looks like a regular silk filament, but I'll compare them later after the printing is finished. The last hook. From this light silk tough core filament I have more than 5 meters. That's enough for the benches, so let's print one. Well, definitely yes, looks like a silk benchy, but it's core inside. Mm, I think I had to check it under the daylight too, because uh, so far this looks like the nicest bench I ever printed. And I still have approximately one meter of filament. And another bench, also from the core filament. Even on the daylight the quality of this bench is fantastic. And this is a tough core version. It is like I can see some silk here below it. But even this looks extremely nice. Test objects for the layer adhesion. This one is printed from the tough PLA filament itself. And this is printed from CD printed filament. And outside they look completely equal. Now this is the core, tough outside and the silk inside. And we can see quite a big difference in the color. And what is interesting is that the silk filament and the core version looks very similar. So this means that the color of the silk is stronger compared to the tough PLA. And these are hooks, all from CD printed filaments. Pure tough, tough outside, silk inside, silk outside, tough inside, and pure silk. The layer adhesion test, I'm recording the brake load, and on the left side immediately you can compare the numbers between these materials. The order is exactly what I expected, only I thought that this type of the core will be much closer to the tough PLA materials. Now this tough silk PLA core filament is a good simulation for the layer adhesion, 
but for the hook test not really because theoretically that uh, carbon fiber core is stronger compared to the skin but in this case the silk is weaker compared to the tough PLA but I'm curious person so let's see what will we get with the hooks. Interesting, something like this I was expecting in the layer adhesion test. Now these stronger hooks are maybe result of more tough PLA in the cross section but even with the hooks, uh, the wall and the layer adhesion is very important, otherwise it will break on much slower load. Exactly this file which I used in this video, I will upload to printables, but also I will upload the source fusion files if somebody wants to modify it. Ok, maybe this layer adhesion difference between tough and silk PLA was too extreme, but uh, even this confirmed that uh, core filament layer adhesion theory. And other manufacturers have this tool to test their formula before the mass production. Yes, this coexode is expensive, but once they have the tool and the formula, in that case the production of the filament is not expensive. And I know what I'm talking about because uh, I was working in ingestion molding industry and we had their extruders making these tubes and we have the tool for the two color tube. So in the production it is not expensive. I don't know about you, but I can see so many possibilities here. Tip you inside and something outside to make the filament tougher maybe, or tulumer inside and maybe some polycarbonate outside. With this we will have a decent layer adhesion and still strong in X and Y direction. For the end I really need your help, because I'm so sad when this kind of big work will stuck on quite low number of the views. And the reason for this is that algorithm is controlling the growth of the channel. And actually growth of my channel is quite ok, no problem with that, I compared it with the similar channels. But since I'm publishing 2-3 videos per week and the ratio of subscribe and not subscribe is 80 to 20%. And even from those 20% I'm getting this growth which is rated to me by the algorithm. So really help from you is probably you are already subscribed and maybe you click even that notification bell button. But uh, on forums or I know Reddit and similar, if somebody asks, I know which is the strongest filament, or if somebody is tested the tulumer filament, or what is the core filament, then point them to my channel. And this is the biggest help. I mean, my uh, main income is from the Patreon supporters, and this is independent from the number of the views. But I'm always very sad when some big work will stack on I don't know 5,000 views or similar. Okay, thank you for watching this video until the end, and happy printing.